What's going on guys and welcome back to Philip Brooks Road to Glory. We are here in his senior season and we are going to run through the entire second half of his senior season at Florida. I wanted to get through him and Jack Hammer as fast as I could as NCAA 13 approached and the game comes out tomorrow. I didn't get very much Road to Glory out last week like I had hoped and so I'm kind of rushing things right now. I went with Jack Hammer and I simulated like seven or eight games so I could just get to the last game of the season and then on Brooks I just kept playing game after game this morning because because I wanted to get through them so I can wrap these series up tonight in live streams hopefully and then start new things tomorrow and start focusing more on NCAA 13 because I didn't really want to work on these Road to Glories with a new game coming out. I wanted to look at new stuff and try to get some new series ideas going and to introduce some things that I hope you guys will like and so these Road to Glories are coming to an end. I hope you Road to Glory fans don't mind me accelerating through the senior season of Phillip Brooks and for simulating Jack Hammer because I want to get to the end. I want to live stream these guys tonight, play their final college games, then send them off to Madden 12 before NCAA 13 retail version drops tomorrow. I'll be picking it up, of course. Starting New Road to Glories hopefully in the next couple of days. Dynasties are going to be coming. I'm really excited to get some things going, but we're going to get into the commentary now, talking about the gameplay, actually. And we're playing against LSU, a team that just Philip Brooks has had no luck against. 0-3 against them, and this off-balance throw is going to help the Gators get in a field goal range inside of two minutes here in the fourth fourth quarter it's 10 to 10 knocking on the door trying to punch this in Brooks taken off but he is wrapped up by an LSU defensive lineman and they bring out the kicker he better not miss this one it's up and good 13 to 10 the Gators just have to hold on for under a minute 12 seconds to go when LSU is in Florida territory back to pass out of the shotgun and now looking to the left side on fourth down it's incomplete wide receiver was out of bounds he had a foot out of bounds and Phillip Brooks has finally beaten LSU and continues this undefeated streak for the Florida Gators they're now 6-0 headed against Arkansas another SEC opponent we're in the third quarter as I'm already speeding up the pace here and Matt Petty fumbles on the goal line when we're down by six. Arkansas gets the ball. It's a touchback. They go down and score a touchdown. They're up by 12. So now Brooks and the Gators have to get two scores. Brooks is scrambling. And now look at this man cannon he has for an arm all the way to tight end John Robinson deep downfield. The Gators would score a touchdown and then they have to watch from the sidelines as the defense picks the ball off in the end zone from Arkansas and the Gators get another opportunity. What a comeback this would be for Phillip Brooks continuing the undefeated season. Season. Third and three. Brooks trying to find an open man. Doesn't like what he sees. He's taken off now. Trying to get the first down, but he's shoved out of bounds at the 30, roughly. And now a fourth and inches. Hand off Matt Petty. Why is he going off tackle? At least he broke the tackle and got the first down. But it's now first and 10. 24 seconds to go. Brooks rolling out to his right now. Taking off and going to run for it. He's going to be close to the 42-yard line for the first down, but just shy. So second down and in inches now. Brooks to throw again. Less than 10 seconds to go. Going deep. One-on-one. -on -one. Picked off Arkansas. The Razorbacks are going to be victorious and knock off the Gators for the first time this season. And so the undefeated season was not to be. And now the Gators have to go and just bounce back against NC State. And this deep pass to Carlos Williams definitely helps. Showing off the cannon again is Phillip Brooks. It's 14-14 here in the fourth quarter against a one-win team. Kind of scary right now. But Brooks, he's calm and collected in the pocket, hooking up with John Robinson near the sideline. Now second and eight. Later that drive actually led to a field goal. Then we got another field goal later. And then here is Matt Petty bouncing this one for a touchdown. And so the Gators were victorious against NC State. But they definitely fell in the rankings. They're now number 9 after losing to a weak Arkansas team. They're actually weak in this series. Only had a couple wins at the time of that loss we had. Actually, it was a big upset. And so now we're against Georgia. Number 9 versus number 13. A game that's now even bigger because of the loss to Arkansas. And we don't want to have two losses on this season. It's 17-13. Florida has the lead here in the third quarter. Brooks rolling to his right once again. That tight on the sidelines, he's been open a lot. John Robinson, the All-American, he's very reliable. Good deep threat as well. He's got some great speed. But it's fourth and inches now later. Brooks is going to throw it. They're not going to run the ball. And he's going to look for his man coming across the middle on the drag. But it's picked off. The zone coverage worked for Georgia, and it's a pick six for the Bulldogs. 
very, very costly turnover from Phillip Brooks. And that one's going to sting as it's now 26-17, to a two-score lead. And it's crunch time for the Gators, and Brooks throws another interception. And this one's going to go inside the 10. He tackles them at the one-yard line. And so Georgia did knock off the Gators again and sent us our second loss on the year. And so national championship hopes, probably not going to be reasonable anymore. We bounce back against Vanderbilt. This is a great pass to the running back on that wheel route. On fourth and two, we just throw it out, air it out. We got that victory. It was pretty easy. And now we're against South Carolina. I'm sorry for really speeding this up. Like I said, I wanted to get through this road to glory tonight and be ready for NCAA 13. And that will take us now against South Carolina. Third and one, Brooks hitting his fullback out of the backfield, it looks like. Number 41 is Casey Jackson, and that's going to go inside the five. And then Brooks, he'll stop in the pocket for a second, pump fake, and then go to the end zone. He wanted to do that the whole time. And so touchdown Gators, it's 7-3. to three. Pretty low scoring here in the first half as Brooks is drilled as he throws it deep, but he has his man Carlos Williams for the touchdown. So the big arm from Phillip Brooks is actually paying huge dividends as the Gators look to extend this lead. Now Brooks evades the sack, now rolling out, throwing it to his man once again, Carlos Williams, the touchdown machine. And the Gators offense has come alive in this game, but South Carolina would answer back. Hand off Matt Petty later. Forced fumble, South Carolina ball. This one isn't over yet. Brooks saves a touchdown, but they would score anyway. So it's 28 to 23. Third down and eight. Brooks is sacked, fumbles the ball. At least the Gators get it back. And now they have to watch from the sidelines. They need a touchdown to get this victory. Going deep to the right side. It's picked off Gators. They will get this victory at least. And another nail-biting game. It's been a lot of them ever since that loss to Arkansas. And so now we finish the season against number four Florida State. Battle for the Governor's Cup. We got to have a strong showing here. It's against one of the top teams in the nation. We want to go to one of the top bowl games. We'll play a top team and send Phillip Brooks to Madden 12 the right way. And so Phillip Brooks has some success here early in the first quarter as he evades a sack here. Gets away from some more defenders. Now wants to take off. And how does he stay up? But he gets in the end zone anyways. So touchdown Gators. Later it's 17 to 10 as the Florida State offense was pretty good and their defense was even better probably. Getting a lot of pressure on Phillip Brooks in this game causing a lot of disruption in the pocket. Here's a free rusher. You can't have a free rusher in a game like this. Meanwhile, while Florida's been punting, Florida State's been scoring. And here's Brooks rolling out and trying to find his man going towards the sideline, but the defender jumps the ball. Nice interception. Great play. And it's 31-10. Brooks will not give up, though. Just under four minutes to go. Brooks is rolling out. He doesn't like what he sees. He's hit as he throws. And Brooks really got manhandled in this game. He got hit a lot, and that caused a lot of Pretty poor throws. Here's some more inside pressure along with some edge rush getting to him, beating the tackle, and Florida State would win the game 38-10. And so the end of the year was kind of disappointing with three losses in the last half of the season. 9-3 and three on the year, number 10 in the nation, but we're playing against number 13 Ohio State in the Capital One Bowl. That'll be the last game of Phillip Brooks' college career. I plan on live streaming that tonight, so follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash mrhurricane. Link will be in the description. I'll let you guys know when I'm going to be streaming this tonight. Hopefully that and Jack Hammer. Send these guys to Madden 12. Get ready for NCAA 13 tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next Road to Glory series.